Hello YouTube, as you may or may not know, lately there has been a lot of interest in mini computers and I'm interested as well in buying one of those so I did a little research on the internet and here is what I found. Raspberry Pi Model B is probably the thing that started the whole craziness. It is $35 in price and it has 256 megabytes of RAM um, if I remember correctly 800 megahertz processor uh, HDMI output um, well it's a great little thing then FXI's uh, cotton candy um, it costs $200 it is a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor 1 gigabyte of DRAM and it has Wi-Fi the only thing I wonder is how the heck will you get a keyboard or a mouse inside of this thing it only has a USB 2.0 mail port as you can see here in the preview of the video so I have no idea how you would do that and it is really costly I wouldn't buy this thing but it is one of the greater ones that I found on the internet then up is MK802 the Android mini PC for $74 um, it has 1.5 gigahertz CPU 512 megabytes RAM and HDMI port it only has one USB port but I think you could put a little USB hub in there I don't really know but this one looks really good to me next up is Beagle board this thing is a little bigger than than the others but it is a mini PC as well um, I read somewhere that it is used for building robots and um, controlling them with programs or something like that but I think it should be uh, good as a mini PC as well then next up is um, an Intel mini PC it is unfinished they have only announced that they will uh, do something like this. The name would be NUC and it would have uh, uh, i3 or i5 Intel processor, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, HDMI, USB. This one will be a little bigger as well but when it is finished I think it will have a lot of interest. Next up is VIA APC Android uh, mini PC for $49 um, it looks like a good mini PC but I am not that interested in this thing I forgot why but uh, a moment ago, ago I had a good reason then um, next up is Melly A1000 $70 it is actually more of a uh, piece of hardware that was meant to be used for the TV but uh, it can be hacked and Linux or a distribution of Linux can be put onto it next up is Panda board um, it is 200 bucks 1.2 gigahertz processor Bluetooth switchable boot order boom 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 and other things well this one in my opinion is a little bit expensive and a little bit big in comparison to the others um, then last up is the Q-Box you can see it here in comparison with a little coin 800 megahertz dual issue um, good video options 1 gigabyte DDR3 memory uh, it has HDMI I think should be somewhere well I read it somewhere else and it should have HDMI it is a little box looks interesting as well oh and the price was uh, $99 so after all this research I am most interested in um, Raspberry Pi for $35 uh, the MK802 for $74 and the Q-Box for 
and I am curious what will become of the Intel NUC. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please let me know uh, what small PC you would be interested in and why. Um, see you next time.